Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box if you are interested as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, so we have the Innocence of Wands, Aries, as your overall energy. You have the Heart of Wands as your challenge card, and you have the Four of Cups, the Spirit of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Hmm. With the Innocence of Wands, as it came out, I got like this reverberation, like something coming back. I feel like this is about a message, but a message you put out that you're getting a response to. Okay? And I feel this is going to make you feel good. The Heart of Wands as your challenge here is really speaking your truth. Even though this isn't swords, I'm getting speaking and acting on your truth from the heart. Connecting with that passionate um, younger heart within you, it's childlike. All right, so the Four of Cups, we're gonna, we're gonna clarify that because I'm not sure if it's you or somebody else. This could be you not recognizing an offer that's coming towards you. The Spirit of Cups is you, again, it's, it's connected to this Heart of Wands. Gaining excitement in a situation. It's like it's, it's not flourishing, it's growing. Your heart is growing stronger in the expression of it towards the situation. Not sure if it's this Four of Cups situation. Yeah, because it's all leading to this clarity, to this, you know, truth. So I like this progression, Aries. So tell me about the innocence of wands, the naked heart. Yep. The heart of swords, that's the truth within the heart space and the movement of pentacles. All right, so you're taking your time. You could have earth energy in your chart here. You're searching for your truth. And I feel like whatever message you put out was your truth. But with a message coming back, it enhances this truth within you. It allows you to be more vulnerable here. Okay. I want to get a kipper here. You are taking your time with this situation. Yeah, you're making a decision with judication. Tell me about the Heart of Wands. Strength. Yeah, it's acting on this vulnerability. That's what it is. Gaining the strength. Eight of Pentacles. So I feel it's slow going with the movement of Pentacles over here, but it's building and building and building with the Eight of Pentacles. So you're building Pentacle upon Pentacle upon Pentacle. All right. So, yep. See, Two of Cups. So this all has to do with a love situation. Uh, soulmate, perhaps, message. This is that message that's coming back to you that you put out. All right, what is this Four of Cups? Curious. I'm always curious about this card. So we have the Spirit of Swords, 
something within you is speaking to you about this offer. There is a guardedness about it, though. Hmm. So, yeah, see, that's your intuition. That's your intuition. Now, this could be, like I said, I'm not sure if this is you or somebody else, or a combination, concern. So there's that hesitation. That's why these are pages. There's some trepidation about movement forward, which is why you're going slow, but that's fine. That's fine because as you move slow, okay, it's going to be the decision that you make is going to be more solid. Okay, Spirit of Cups. Hmm, Eight of Cups. You, uh, this may be a fear of somebody walking away or of walking away from somebody. I'm going to get two of pentacles. You're making a decision. It could be between two people. You're looking within. What is this that you're thinking about with walking away? Five of swords. Why did I just get the shark tank? The six of wands and the moon. You could be hiding something with the moon card. I'm, I'm hearing internal conflict, but that's not. Let me get another one on the five of swords. What is this? Yeah, there's anxiety and fear. Okay. All right, you, you have to be uh, careful about listening to other people that may be, it, swords are communication, right? So be careful of the battles that you engage with other people about speaking about something. It's causing anxiety and fear, and this is causing the trepidation. That's the two of pentacles. And the moon card, with the moon card, it could be, this is a fear. The six of wands. You'd be dealing with a Leo, but, hmm, this is having confidence in this situation. This is really building confidence over overcoming obstacles here. Community, that, that's what I'm saying. That's this five of swords is this community. Despair. It's got a lot of conflict involved in this, but you're contributing to this. So you have to be aware of speaking about situations because there could be jealousy involved just because you're moving forward, right? In life. All right. So tell me about... Ace of Swords could be about if you're moving, like physically moving away from people, you know, it's it's sort of their ego, because Five of Swords is ego, their ego coming out. How dare you move away? How dare you go off in a separate direction on your own without consulting us because we know best type of thing. So it could even be family. All right. So clarifying the Ace of Swords is the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles was up there. Wow. Two Aces here. All right. So you're going to act on something. You could be communicating with somebody from a distance. The Four of Swords is you're retreating back into the self. You're meditating on the situation and you're going to gain confidence in this. Okay, and really push forward. You're going to gain that clarity and truth, Aries. Hmm. Main male. You're connecting or about to connect with the masculine within you. You are the emperor, Aries. So it, this could be a reconnection to your soul path. This could be a reconnection to you, to who you know you are. All right, I'm going to get another kipper on this. Thoughts. Take your time. Okay, take your time. 
I told you it's connecting you to your soul path, your soul. It's you. And you are going to light your own way by moving through this, okay? Without trepidation, though, keep that in mind. So I'm going to get you an Angels of Atlantis deck card. Metatron, Divine Intelligence. Love this. Metatron, oh, Metatron. Oh, you got two here. Oh, that was the last one. I'm sorry. Nope, that was the last reading. I think it was. All right. Metatron. Where are you? All right. Metatron, Divine Intelligence, okay? Metatron, as a conduit of the divine, is speaking to you through your thoughts and feelings. This card asks you to notice and to follow your instinct and inspiration. By drawing this oracle, you are bestowed with the powerful presence of this teacher angel because you are a wonderful human being who can receive the frequency of this call. All genius arises from the source and in this moment you are receiving holy manna because your soul is a temple for the divine. Therefore, you, must, you may dispense the glory of the divine through each of your creations. Please rest in silence as you receive Metatron's teaching. Okay? So Aries, I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Aries, you have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.